Has anybody checked on Hollywood celebrities yet after celebrity support comes up short for Kamala Harris? A group, a growing chorus of stars and pro athletes are reeling from Donald Trump's historic victory. But our next guest is one pro who has always been Team Trump, PGA golfer John Daly. The legendary John Daly joins us now. So, John, uh, were you surprised when you heard about the results? I mean, a complete landslide for now the former well, president Trump. Um Go ahead. I was praying that he'd win. I just didn't know it was going to be that big, but I just yeah. think America's tired of what's been going on for the last four years. Yeah, you posted on X. Historic. Welcome back, Mr. President. Cheers to getting our country back. What was the reaction? I lost a lot of followers, but I gained a hundred times more. You know, I think uh, our country needs Daddy Trump. And uh, what he did, the you know, when he became president, our 45th, what he did for four years was a miracle. He got us out of a lot of a lot of things, and all he wants to do is protect our country. It's like we want to protect our kids and our family. Daddy Trump was, wants to protect America, and he's going to do it again. You've known him since '92. You've always called him that. How did you first run into him? Because of the golf world? Yeah, we were playing in a pro am in Massachusetts uh, in '92, and he played in the pro am with me. I got to know him. We sat. You know, in the back porch for about four hours and you know I'm drinking Jack Daniels and Diet Cokes and he's drinking Diet Cokes and uh, we talked and uh, he loves golf he is passionate about golf but when he got up he says one day I'll be the president of the United States and that was in 1992. Really? Wow. wow. And then you watched it happen so what is your what is your recommendation to people that just can't get over this loss? Celebrities that put uh, their life on the line, like Cardi B doesn't want to talk to anybody that did that voted for Trump. What's your advice? Well, you know what? Like, it goes back to protecting our family. You know, you got to protect our borders. You got to protect the American citizens. You got to protect the family before you can protect anybody else. And that's what Daddy wants to do. Uh, what's going on? The Venezuela, Venezuela gangs in Colorado taking over apartments and people and immigrants taking over hotels and stuff. And, you know, you got to protect the family, and that's America. Protect them first, and then we can worry about, you know, a lot of other stuff outside of, of the United States. But Daddy Trump's all about America and his common Daddy sense. Trump. Protect the ones that live in our country. And he's just an amazing human being. The whole family's amazing. All they want to do is protect us. Have you talked to him since he became president-elect? We've been texting a little bit. I didn't want to bother him, but... Uh, we just, I just love him. Uh, you know, people who don't know the Trump family are the greatest family that I've ever known. Uh, all right, John. John, Daly. John, we all want to have a Jack and Coke with you. You, you seem like <laughs> such a fun guy. <laughs> right. Next time you're no. in New York, come on over. Hey, it's John Daddy Good Boy Vodka now. It's uh, vodka because I got cancer. Right, there you I had go. to quit the brown stuff. Oh, Thanks, uh, yeah, but don't Thanks. quit totally. Thanks all right, so everyone say a job. prayer for him and everyone follow him on right. X. Bye. We'll see you with you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.